Hello, Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Dr. Nida Sheikh from Dento Magic. If you are new here, then welcome. And if you are already been a Dento Magic family, then welcome back. Today I will be talking about the most important books that you have to consider for your ORE exams. That will help you to crack your Part One ORE exam in one go. So what we are waiting for? Let's dig into it. If you are watching this video, then you must be preparing or starting to prepare for ORE exam, and you must be confused how to start, where to start, how to plan it. So don't worry, I'm here to help you out and give you a kickstart and tell you the most important books that you will be needing during your preparations. Before starting, I would like to request you to please subscribe my channel and be the Dento Magic family. The books that you will be needing are the first one is the most important book that is the pink book. The pink book is also known as Oxford Handbook of Clinical Dentistry. This is the book that you must 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 have it to actually clear your ORE Part One exam. If you are working and you have hands-on clinical dentistry, then it is very easy for you to go in and out through this book. I'm very thorough in this book. And the people who are not practicing and uh, do not have hands-on practice these days, they don't have to worry. You just have to go through this book two, three times. As going through this book for for the first time, you will not get anything. Maybe you get some part of it and some part of it you don't get it. But you don't have to get worried. You just go through it two three times and you'll actually get it what it's saying and want to tell you as it is in a very concise manner. The next book is the Blue Book, which is also known as Oxford Handbook of Applied Sciences. This is not as important as the Pink Book, so I will suggest you to read this book at last. And before that, you can look up for the other book that I am going to tell you. Talking about physiology, there is one book known as Wonders, and trust me, it is a very good book. One of my known has recommended me this book, and I love this book as it has a good, a very concise illustrations, pictures, and explanation. So you can go for it. And the most important topics that you can study in physiology are. muscles circulatory vascular system immune system and respiratory system so these are the most important topics that you have to cover first and then if you have time you can cover the other topics too for anatomy i would recommend you to go for cherusia as you must be familiar with it you must have read it in your graduation time so uh, that is one of the book and the other book is netas uh, it is a very good book it has a very good image and the pictures so you can practice uh, your image based, uh, based question from that book also but if you cannot manage both the book then you can uh, uh, pick any one of the book and you can stick to it the other book is master dentistry i won't recommend you that because it will be very confusing and it will be a lot for you to take in and for the mcqs you can offer the other book that is known as cousin it is a very nice book and it also comprises of the sample paper previous sample papers which you can attempt and you can know where you are standing and how much you are scoring there is a website also for which i will provide you the link in the description box Uh, which provide you with the mcqs it doesn't give you an additional uh, information but it helps you to practice mcqs online which is a great thing and uh, which can train you for your main exam so i will suggest uh, go and attempt these questions so that you have an idea how you will be attempting in your main exams There is one more book uh, for MCQ that is thousand books in clinical dentistry. You can also offer this book. You can offer both the cousin and thousand books in uh, clinical dentistry. It's completely your choice, or you can select any one of it. The more you practice, the more perfect you become. There are few additional things that you should always, always uh, study before you go for your ORE exams, and that is. 
Scottish guidelines, BDA advice sheet and RISIS guidelines. I would advise you to go through these guidelines again and again as these guidelines are updated and renewed every year. I will provide you with a link in the description box so you can go and check it out. And remind you again, please, please go through these guidelines as there are questions in an ORE paper regarding these guidelines. Comment down below if you want to know the most important topic of these guidelines and BDA sheets to help you further and I will come up with a video on your request. Last but not the least, I would recommend you to join the Facebook groups like ORE part 1 which will help you get updated the feedback questions that they are posting on their uh, Facebooks and one good news is these questions may get repeated in your exam which will help you if you are practicing them and following them. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Hope you like this video. If you liked it, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel and be the Dental Magic family. Stay tuned as I will be coming up the, with the videos like this every week. See you in the next video. Stay safe. Be happy. Allah Hafiz.